New this morning, all lanes of Interstate 80 are back open after an accident with a trailer carrying about two dozen cows crashed in Roseville. And not all that cattle did survive. Case here three is Brian Hickey joining us live near I-80 in Riverside, and certainly not something CHP is used to dealing with on a regular basis. No, they definitely had their hands full this morning trying to keep the surviving cows in this crash out of the travel lanes after at least one of them was hit by a bystander out here along the freeway this morning. This is the eastbound side of Interstate 80. As you pointed out, all lanes are open after this crash around 2 o'clock this morning. We're told from the CHP that the driver, it was a pickup truck with a fifth wheel cattle trailer on the back, was heading eastbound just before Douglas Boulevard when he said he swerved uh, to miss something in the roadway. That caused the trailer to swing over into the guardrail. Uh, at the beginning of a guardrail on the right hand side of the road, that guardrail pierced through a side door of the cattle trailer and then out the back door, flinging both doorways open, throwing some of the cows out onto the freeway, injuring some inside, and the rest uh, walked out onto the freeway. And as I said, one cow, at least one cow, was hit by another car passing by. Others were uh, injured at the scene, severely injured, and had to be euthanized by a veterinarian in the area, also the owner. Uh, euthanize some of the cows that were on the side of the road. We're told some of these cows valued at more than $20,000 special breeding cows that were being transported to another owner. And uh, CHP was just thankful there were some other folks on hand that could help them. He said we, we got lucky. There were some people that were familiar with handling uh, farm animals that came and helped us out. Uh, there was also a local veterinarian that helped us uh, euthanize some of the seriously injured cows. So. It was a pretty difficult scene to see this morning out there and a difficult one for the owner as well. And uh, Caltrans said they will be out there later today to repair that guardrail. So do watch out for the crews that will be working in that area. Otherwise, the roadway right now is open in all lanes. Live here in Roseville, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.